today I'm going to do some um, vocal editing in Revoice Pro to edit some vocals that I've been working on. Um, I've got a track here that's only got three vocals at the moment. We've got a lead, a harmony and a falsetto. Uh, the lead's a pretty solid take and the tuning's good and I'm happy with it and I'm happy with the timing. Um, but I'd like to get the harmony and falsetto a little bit more in time with the lead and also to give them a little bit more stereo imaging I'm going to make doubles of each of them using Revoice. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, this is what the track sounds like at the moment. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on. Okay, cool. So if I solo the lead in harmony and just focus in on this section here. Lead us on and on and on and on. So you can hear pretty clearly the harmony's a little late just at the end bit, but again, I'm saying I really like the overall vibe of it um, for both the harmony and falsetto, and it's a pretty good take. So um, what I'm going to do is get these into revoice and lock the timing up of these against the lead. So to do that, we select the three tracks that we want to get into Revoice, open your mix win logic, and put an instance of Revoice Pro Link ARA on each one. Here we go. So um, it's important that when you want to get your tracks into Revoice, you've selected all the tracks that you want to get in. Because if I've just got one, it's only going to import that one, then I'm going to have to go through each one individually, which is much slower process and this way you're really using ARA to its fullest potential just by hitting one button and it's all in and done for you. So if I hit capture audio now that's going to be importing into Revoice and then we're going to open up Revoice and have a look at what that looks like. There we go. So there's all my three tracks, perfect. Um, and now we can work on them. Um, and the beautiful thing about ARA is whatever work I do in here it will automatically change the files in Logic to sound as they are in Revoice edited. So if I make adjustments here and sort out all the time, they will now be locked in Logic. So what we're going to do is I select the track Harmony, which is the one I first want to lock to uh, the lead. And I can either right click here to add a process or I can just hit B. So I'm going to hit B and you're going to select APT and then Go to your recent presets or factory presets and have a look through whatever you like. But I'm going to use my recent preset and go to tight timing only. Right, so if I was only going to work on this one, I would do the guide as lead and the dub as the harmony. But I want both these tracks to automatically lock to the lead. So I'm just going to hit number of processes two instead of one. And Revoice then immediately understands that I want both these backing vocals to lock to this lead, which is a really great feature. So let's hit new process. And there are both process tracks. So now I've got a timed harmony and a timed falsetto. And if I mute the original ones and allow these ones to play, when I go back into Logic, you're then just going to hear what it sounds like. Here we go, let's just solo the vocals. No ties distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on and on. Perfect, so that's now all in time, which is awesome. So that's that part of the job done, which has taken pretty much no time whatsoever, and I know it's solid and I can completely trust it. So if that was where I was going to end this process, I would deselect these plugins here for each of these channels and I would bounce in place so that the new information that is uh, Revoice has added to this and sorted would be bounced and printed and done for good. But we're going to carry on going for a minute here and we're going to make some doubles. So I'm going to make a double of the harmony and of the falsetto. So let's get a new track for the harmony. Let's label this one Harmony Left and Harmony Right. And let's do the same for the falsetto. So make a new track. This is going to be falsetto left. 
and this is going to be falsetto right. Then we go back into revoice. So we've got our process tracks here. Um, the harmony processed, which is all timed and locked, and the falsetto. And instead of doing an APT now, we're going to hit B, and we are going to do a double. Right, so the preset I am going to go with is a mono vocal mild, because I don't need a stereo vocal. I've already got one side, and I've got the left side already. I just want a right side, and I want to keep it simple. So we're going to go mono vocal um, soft, I think it was mild sorry um, and the input is going to be the harmony out which is the processed harmony track and we're going to make the output automatic no problem here we go right now we're going to do the same with the falsetto track we're going to hit the input as the falsetto out output automatic so now I've got a double of my processed harmony and falsetto. And now all we've got to do is get it into logic, which is simple with revoice. So here's the first double. And to get that into logic, you hit Alt and Shift, and you get this little icon, and you're just going to drag it in. I don't really care where it is, because I'm going to fix that in a second. Same. We're going to do that with falsetto, drag them in. Right, let's go into logic. Now in Logic, you can control click your audio file and go to move here and go to move to recorded position. And then it puts it exactly where it should be, which is an awesome feature. So recorded position. Now I've got doubles all timed, all locked. So let's have a listen to those. I'm going to um, get into the mixer here and just pan these left and right. So we've got nice sterifies and have a listen to that. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on and on. Let our eyes be hypnotized. Distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on and on. So as you can see, it's super simple um, and super integrated using the AOA part of Revoice now. Um, I hope that's helpful. See you next time. Bye.